So it's important that we continue to break down that stigma mm. behind male mental health and keep talking about it. Because even if it helps one person, it's done a job, hasn't it? hundred so. percent, yeah. Why is it, like, males' mental health, I feel like we struggle to talk about it as There's much as... There's a stigma as, attached There's, to like, it. a stigma attached, yeah, like, we're all a bit too proud to be like, well, I am actually suffering. And I think a lot of that's to do with this kind of, like, you know, we're men, you know, we're fine, you know, yeah. get down the pub, have a drink, you'll be fine. I think it's instilled in it was as a kid, because when you think about it, when you're a child, boys shouldn't cry. As you grow up, it sticks with you, and it's, it's just, it's what we think is natural, but it's not. Do you know, since Christmas, Three of my mates have killed themselves since Christmas because and then not, no one had any idea yeah. that there was anything at all like either wrong with them or they were suffering any type of mental health. And again, that's because nothing was like spoken out about. And one of the lads we used to work with, he was the most, well, I thought he was the most happiest going, nothing ever bothered him, laddiest lad you can yeah. imagine. And then he just killed himself. Do you know what I mean? You think, God, they just if. If someone had either spoken to him or either spoken out. That's the thing with mental health. People deal with things differently. People show different mm. symptoms of how they're feeling. People don't show any emotion. Mm. And that's what's important. Like you never know what someone's going through mm. Mm. unless you speak to unless them. Unless you, that's the point. Unless you speak about it. Unless it's like, it's one of them subjects where you can speak about it as freely as, as the weather. Yeah. It has to be, it has to be that, because yeah. it's so important, it's so important. Yeah. We know from first hand mm. that that helps. Mine was predominantly before I did all the TV stuff. I suffered between sort of 19 and 20, mm. 21 for a year and a bit. I spoke to my mum, and then I saw a hypnotherapist yeah, in my, like, my local town, and it was unbelievable. Worked on some breathing techniques for when, you know, like you seven seconds, like five seconds, like, all this kind of thing, just like starving the adrenaline. Because that's what, that's what like, the anxiety is, like an adrenaline builder. You starve it by like... I've just done the breathing. Your, then. Yeah, it looked lovely. Best advice I ever got for the anxiety was Gaz. I was getting anxiety bad in Jory Shaw. And Gaz was like, Aaron, he was like, are you mad? He was like, walk in there. He's like, everywhere I walk, I walk in like I own the place. So now, everywhere I walk, I'll fly in Zara like, like I own the <laughs> <laughs> so, I, mean, I, I walk with it, I walk, just push my chest in and think, if you're gonna say something, then say it. Yeah. Do yeah. you know what I mean? A lot of people in this day and age think, even like soppy stuff, like, like I'm a proper soppy bloke, can I? But like, and I'm, a, wrote, I'm an old fashioned wrote romantic. You wrote a lovely. Yeah, I'm mate. Yeah, I, I wrote did. one not long ago. Did you? And I, and, I, and I printed off the bit of paper and it was a picture of me and my did girlfriend on the, on the background. That's the really good. So I wrote over the top of it. That's really good. But I like being emotional. Mm. I think it helps. I think it makes me feel better. Yeah. Say if you're suffering now, who would you use? Then who would be the first person you'd go to? So I would always go to my, either my best friend or I would say I'd sort of, like, I wouldn't bring it up fully, but I'd bring it up subtly to my mum and then see what she'd say and like, get the vibe what she's going from that and then if I thought about it, I'm going to tell you that. I just go straight to your missus now. You, you, would you, you be nervous or would you be able to get it out? No, anything now. Would you? Yeah, yeah. Me missus and then if, if I feel it's too much for her then I've still got my therapist that I ring. Have you? Yeah. And like I said, I used to be ashamed to tell people that, but now yeah. I think, nah. You bet that, that's the best way to be though, because you need to get out your chest. The first ever one I had, it was like, so I got there and I was sitting there and I was thinking, I was thinking, right, what am I doing? And she was like, right, so what do you want to speak about? And I just burst through crying. I was just yeah. like, it's, 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 and it's I, terrible. It, I got everything off my chest and I walked out and I just felt but you like. You feel so, so much better when you walk out of the like, you I felt like, about it. For, I felt like for 30 years or whatever, I've just, I've just told her everything. Yeah. The woman that doesn't know is I've just told her everything that yeah. I wouldn't tell Talia, mm. I wouldn't tell anyone. Yeah. And I walked out and I was just like... It's, 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 I think it's brave to do that, though. I really do. Oh, t like, Talia, it was my missus that found out because I was like, I don't, I don't want a man because I feel a bit intimidated yeah. speaking to a man. So I got, like, an older woman. Just sat down and got everything off my chest. Just, and it was, pff, honestly, then I seen that every other week leading up until not my last fight, the fight before, because I was, I was thinking to myself, I'm too scared to walk out in front of the crowd because like, yeah. I was getting that much abuse. Yeah. So I've seen her up until the fight and I've never walked out so confident. I think it is getting a lot better. I think naturally- It's like, definitely all, getting better, 100%. With all the charities, with all the helplines and the, the, you know, all these, the, well, all like the resources out there, mm. which you know you can use, it's, it's great. And just from speaking to someone, just lifts a weight off your shoulder. Like Mate. they say, a problem- Shared is a problem solved. No, no, no. A problem halved. Uh, it, problem half. I forgot to say. And it's, 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 a problem shaved is a problem halved. You said shaved. No, a problem <laughs> problem shaved is a, a problem half. Yeah, a problem <laughs> shared is a problem halved. <laughs>